What's up guys? This is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, the number 21 UAB Blazers who are 4-0 on the season go into Louisiana Tech taking on the Bulldogs who are 2-2. Two two. But we did face these guys uh, last year in the Conference USA Championship game. This team is no joke. I have trouble facing this team for a lot of reasons. Uh, like and some of those reasons I I can't even think that I don't even think they're legitimate but it's like their defense is fast and a, de and a fast defense in this game actually succeeds then it may not like tackle well but speed can really kind of help um, their offense is really kind of sporadic at times and that's troublesome for my defense you know they're, this team is actually legit I mean I have trouble facing this team. We got our butts kicked the first year we faced them. We barely won the second time. And this time, this is kind of like the uh, the the final. I want to say final because we're going to face these guys a lot more than this um, down the road. Um, but it, it's definitely going to be nice to see a nice 2-1 series lead over these guys. I, I would say, to be honest, guys, being 100% honest, this is probably my least favorite team to face in Conference USA. And these guys are kind of considered rivals. Even though they're technically not my rival in according to the, the game. Uh, but I do consider this team a rival. Uh, they're a very hard team to face. So let's take a look at the top 25. And you see that Ohio State, Notre Dame, Miami, and South Carolina, and Texas round out the top five. And you see other teams in there like Iowa, Virginia Tech, who we're going to face in, a, I think, next video. It's either the next one or the next one after that. I'm not 200% sure on that one. But we're ranked 21st, ranked up twice from last week at number 23. So, obviously, we are doing something right as far as, you know, our season is going. There's still a lot of games left. We have a top 10 team to face later on in the season. We also have um, a lot of conference teams that are out for blood against us because we're now a target. Our team is that much well more. They're much more improved that we've kind of just grown a target on our backs in the Conference USA, and I don't know how to necessarily take that. But anyway, um, we're going to take on Louisiana Tech today at Louisiana Tech. It's going to be a good game, and uh, I expect nothing short of a spectacular game against this team, uh, like it has been in the past. These games have always been close, and I expect nothing more been a great game in this one so get your popcorn ready sit back relax and get ready to watch some good fashion old-fashioned football see you there i'm reese davis bringing you the ea sports ncaa football 14 pregame show presented by nissan innovation that excites the blazers have shown few signs of weakness lately they are exuding confidence in everything they do string together a few w's that's actually what happens We'll see if they can keep it up. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. are here at Louisiana Tech at Joe Allett Stadium. I, th I think that's how you say it, or Allett or Allett. I'm going to go with Allett. But nonetheless, we are taking on a very good football team today. The stadium is packed. People are ready to see a good old-fashioned rivalry game. Even though technically in the books, it's not considered a rivalry. But over the past few years, this rivalry has actually kind of grown. And uh, like I said, this is my least favorite team to face in this game. And they're about to prove themselves again why they are just that team. So Kevin, or no, why did I say Kevin? It's Keith Brown taking this one out of the end zone. And now we have Chris Jones, who is possibly up for uh, some national attention this year, considering how good he has been playing this year. He's about to, I say if he continues this pace, he's about to break school records. But that's just me. He does get the first down by just an inch right there. But, hey, it's a first down, right? 
So later on in the drive, it is second and four. Chris Jones taking the read option. And this time, he gets the first down, but he coughs it up. That was my fault right there. I shouldn't have dove. That was bad, bad sin. Bad, bad. Slap on the hand, slap on the wrist. But they do get the ball back. They recover. First down, Louisiana Tech. This is why this team is troublesome. They get under my skin, I will admit. So Rob Roberson dropping back, looking for the screen pass. He breaks the tackle, but he does not get very far after that. So Kevin Morris is stopped behind the line. Great defense by the Blazers. And they're going to punt the ball. Now, I normally don't show punts. But when there is a good one like this one you're about to see, you will understand why. Look how good this punt is. He gets it all the way down to the inside the five, down to the two. So we're having our backs up against the wall to start our next drive. And I tried to be a little tricky, and they kind of saw it coming. So now it's a safety. Louisiana Tech is up two to nothing, so it's like a baseball game. But... You know, I'm not worried about a 2 nothing game. Like, why should I be worried about a 2 nothing game? So, it's three to, uh, it's 3rd and 4. It's 2 nothing Louisiana Tech. They still can't get their offense going. And this is why I consider this a rivalry game. Both teams are playing extremely hard. And no one can really seem to get anything going. Defenses are playing more motivated, I feel like. But you see right there, Chris Jones not even getting the passing game going as he throws a deep pass for incomplete. That one hits the ground. So, we are... At a bit of a stalemate right now. If it wasn't for that safety, we'd still be tied at zero. Obviously. But, you know, the stalemate has to end sometime. You know, we were not. I, I, I can't believe that we are in the second quarter and it's still two to nothing. So, Chris Jones looking over to Holt first down. We got to get more aggressive in the passing game, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we need to do. Second down and eight. This time we're going to hand it off to Keith Brown and he's going to get the first down pickup of about 12 yards. And he moves the chains. The offense has been doing somewhat good whenever they have the ball in their hands. But they got to, you know, not turn the ball over. That's obviously priority number one. So off to Devin Lemon on the power O play. And he gets the first down gain of seven yards. And the chains keep on moving. But first and ten again. This time we're running a screen pass. Off to Devin Lemon. And he makes the freshest lemonade on the block. Touchdown, Blazers. It's now seven to two. As now we get a touchdown on the board. And here we go. Now the now the ice has been somewhat broken a little bit. Third down and four. Roberson dropping back. He gets the pass off to Heron. Heron gets the first down. And he moves the chains. Time running down in the first half. Like I said, very hard fought game. This is what rivalry games are made of. Just tough football. Roberson dropping back. Looking right side. Caught by Harvey out of bounds for a pickup of 18. And another... Bulldogs first down. Louisiana Tech just giving me all sorts of headaches. I, I mean, I probably would lose sleep at night if I was a real head coach coaching this Blazers team and for how much, you know, trouble they gave me. Obviously, I'm not, you know, a, I couldn't be a real head coach, but, I mean, seriously, any coach who has this kind of, you know, headache against this team would probably lose some sleep. Third down and 15. Under two to go here. Here's Roberson dropping back, looking over the middle, and he gets it to Washington first down. Louisiana Tech. Now, can they get the touchdown here? If they get the touchdown, would they go for two? Would you go for two? I don't know. We're not there yet. First down and 10 here. Off to Washington again. Shoves a defender down. I think that was Jared Lewis who got his, his face mask shoved in. And now it's again a 19 first and goal here for the Bulldogs. And here we go. Third down and goal for the Bulldogs. Roberson. Oh, and he just throws it away. Fourth down. And... Now it's going to be even. This is this is just like this is what like I mean by rivalry games. It, it, games like these are just weird. Like you see a weird score. The kick is up. It's good. It's seven to five. Like this is a high-scoring baseball game now. Seven to five. Like bro, you'll never see this. Oh, I, I mean, I'm not gonna say you'll never see this anyway. But you hardly ever see a score like this ever. Like I, I can't even think about. Like the, the, this right now, like it's crazy. So Jones dropping back, scrambling to his right a little bit, throws it on the run, and it's intercepted by Simpson. Simpson's gonna take this one all the way to the house. He has good blocking in front of him, and he is gone. G O N E touchdown, Louisiana Tech. The second turnover of the game for the Blazers, and it's now 12 to seven. I can't believe that. That's just crazy. It's still a weird look at score to me, to be honest. And we can't even get a screen pass going because McClellan just sticks his hand in there. Good 
good effort by him though. This is why Louisiana Tech gives me headaches, guys. They're just they're just fast. They can get their hand in there and just, it's troublesome. It really is. They just get their hand in there at the right time. It's like, bro, I can't even pass the ball correctly. So off to Philip Murphy right there, first down, Louisiana Tech. Later on, second down and ten here for the Bulldogs. Hand off to Morris. And Morris is gonna get that first down just across that line for a pickup of 12 yards. And the Bulldogs keep on moving the football. Obviously, you know, it's been kind of a seesaw battle in a way. It hasn't been too much back and forth. It's been like who can get momentum at the right time and, you know, do stuff like that where he picks up like 34 and gets another first down. So now they're in field goal range. So if they get a field goal right here, I need a touchdown and a two-point conversion. But if they get a touchdown, man, it's going to be hard to – pull off a comeback so second down and six Roberson dropping back looking to the left side it's caught by Jefferson inside the 10 Craig Jefferson gets that big catch and possibly could get this lead up to I would say 12 uh, right now I don't see them going for two to make it 20 to 7 I don't see that being very logical very uh, right now but who knows they get a three yard reception there on third down on the screen pass we weren't fooled by it that much and they end up settling for a field goal right here to try and make it 15 to 7. And the kick is up and it's good. So it's a now an eight point lead nearing the fourth quarter. But here we go. On ensuing kickoff, here's Keith Brown from about the three yard line. He gets some room to run down the field. Can we get our first kickoff return for a touchdown in this series? No, we cannot. Uh, but later on, third down and five, can we get the first down to keep the drive alive? Jones looking over the middle and it's caught by Green down at the 30 and let's see if he can make this one. This is a long field goal for our freshman kicker. Kick is up and it is no bueno. No good. No bueno, man. No bueno. We got to do better. We got to do better than that, man. It could have been 15 to 10. Could have been 15 to 10. Yeah, but it's not. Third down and seven. Uh, off to Heron, but he drops it. So now it's a fourth down. They're going to have to punt the ball. All this other good stuff that we need right now, because right now we're still trailing. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to the four, into the fourth quarter possibly, and I've only got seven points. Like this is ridiculous. This is kind of the stuff that you would see if you were if you've been with me for a while. You would know that in my Iowa Hawkeyes dynasty that I had way back in the day, uh, there was a lot of defensive games. This is kind of like one of those moments right now, because usually what you've been seeing out of this dynasty is offense, 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 and that's pretty much. A, you know pretty much what the conference USA is all about but I mean you're not used to seeing this much defense we get the touchdown finally and now we got to go for two to try and tie the game so what can Chris Jones come up with from three yards out or two yards out I should say Jones scrambling trying to find some room to run and he gets it in 15 15 I like it he, he drew up a pass play but he decided to take off running because he couldn't find anybody open so Roberson dropping back Gets a little screen pass. Not working. Kevin Morris loses four yards. And it's fourth down and 13. We get the ball back. Let's see what we can do with it. Still plenty of time left in this football game. It could go either way. So another screen pass off to Keith Brown. But he's not going anywhere. As now it's fourth down and 12. As he loses a couple yards. Defenses are playing tough today. I will say that much. This may be the best defensive matchup you've seen in this dynasty period so far in this dynasty per se not not just like overall but like in just in this one like this is crazy i've never seen any defense being played in conference usa like this like ever but first down and 10 323 left can jones and the uab offense finally get something together here try and get at least in field goal range because that's pretty much what it's going to come down to i think it's the first the, the first team to score here is going to win the game can it be us maybe we'll find out second down and eight Pace with the catch. Rob Pace picks up 17. The freshman wideout. Man, he is looking good so far. He's been pretty good out of the third and fourth string wide receiver slot. So again, again, off to Brian Green. Again. And he gets another pickup above 11 yards. He has a touchdown on the resume already today. He's been looking pretty good. Five catches, 34 yards. So now can we finish off the drive here? Jones looking. Doug Nash. Touchdown. Blazers. It's now 22 to 15. Is now U, uh, UAB is trying to make one final stop here to try and get Louisiana Tech and their fans to go home unhappy. Roberson dropping back, gets the completion to Harvey. Actually gets the first down on fourth and 22. They needed 22. They got 27. 
and now they move the chains. Last chance again for the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. Fourth and 13. Roberson dropped back. Gets the completion, and the defense swarms him. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your ball game. The UAB Blazers are 5-0 for possibly the, for the first time in school history. This is absolutely insane. Can we keep this up? I hope so. I mean, we're going to see where we are ranked next week, and we'll go from there. Hopefully, we can continue this type of work and continue to be in the top 25 for not only this year, but the years to come. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button. This game was well hard fought. UAB earned this victory today. We stayed with it, and we come out with another W. So, like I said, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We're nearing 7,000 subscribers, people. Hit that subscribe button. Please do it. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. I'm out. Peace.